Are you struggling to find enough scrap metal in a shrouded? Don't worry, we got you covered in this video. In this ultimate guide, we will show you how to master scrap metal farming and maximize your resources so you can get 750 plus scrap metal per hour. Let's get started. In Enshrouded, scrap metal can be found just about anywhere. The two most common places are going to be within containers around the area of points of interest, or within scavengers. Scavengers can be found in camps that are all around Enshrouded. This guide will primarily focus on a scavenger camp where you can repeatedly farm it over and over again to get maximum scrap metal as fast as possible. The area of interest we're looking at is Rookmore, just here. It's just near the ancient spire and the bridge you cross at the beginning of the map. There's two ways you can go about this. You can go through the shroud and walk through the front door, or you can come up to the side of the cliff here and jump off. But my third and most favorite way of doing it is fast traveling directly to the top of the ancient spiral, running out to the edge and jumping off directly to it. The reason we choose this camp is that it's close to a fast travel point. It has only a few enemies here that you can gather and you can reset it straight away. Make sure you stay around to the end to find out how we reset this and repeat this method over and over again. We also will have a another bonus method of getting scrap metal and other goodies at the end too. Now, before we get into here, let's talk about strategy. Now you see here down at the bottom, this green line will represent the entrance of it. As you come in from the high ground, you're going to see enemies here, 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 and here. There'll be eight to nine scavengers in total. What you will do is divide and conquer each one separately. You'll only have to fight about two of them, maybe three at the very max. Now, let's crack into this. What I like to do is dive straight down to the front here. Just off to the side, there'll be two enemies straight up. I'll put a timer on this so you can see how fast you can get this done and repeat this method over and over again. There's a third one at the base of the building that generally will come over and investigate what you're doing. Make sure you loot all the enemies so you can get the scrap metal that are on them. You'll then go around to the back of the building and there'll be another scavenger there. If he's not, he'll be inside the building, which we'll be go to next. When you go in, there should be another scavenger on the ground. Make sure you take him out. There can be also a scavenger in this little hidey hole here. Now that you've dealt with them, it's time to go on top of the roof here where there's an archer. Sometimes he'll jump off and he'll chase you, other times he'll be in different places. So make sure you check around the area as he will always be around here somewhere. Now that we've dealt with this area, we'll go to the next one. You jump up to the side of the hill here or you can run up through the front. There'll be an enemy over to the right here, just by this camp. He can move around a little bit, but he'll generally be around this area. After we dealt with him, there'll be another one on top of this little hill here, inside or around the back. Make quick work of him as there's only one more enemy left to go. The last one's going to be Archer, just over by this camp here. You'll generally get at least one shot off before you can get close to him, so make sure you use the shield to block it. You can see this only took me a minute and 44 seconds to complete, and I got a total of 23 scrap metal just from this less than two minute run. To reset this, all you have to do is return to the main menu, go back into your game and load it up. You'll generally spawn back at your base and all your progress will be saved. This is why I like to choose the ancient spira of the Springlands. Quickly fast travel back to the area, run to the edge and jump off and glide back to the front and repeat the process. Now that you know how to do this the first time, you can now change it up a little bit. After you finish collecting all the enemies, we'll go through a process where we actually clear through the area and grab all the other resources here. It's always best to do this when discovering a new area as there's always going to be different items here that you haven't discovered before. After we deal with the 8 to 9 scavengers that are here, you can then begin your process. I'll fast travel back to the front of the gate and show you how I would go through and check the area here. You can see now I have a total of 40 scrap metal just from these two simple runs. Now there's little piles all around the area that you can search. Make sure you destroy all the barrels and everything that are around. You'll get wood logs, torn cloth, scrap metal, twigs and other items. There's also a bunch of chests around the area too that you can go for. Make sure you collect the mysterious flocks that are on the potion as well. Breaking down all the items of inside the house can give you different loot and there's also a possibility of getting metal scraps. There's also a secret area just below that you have to remove some rubble from. Make quick work of the rubble and dig through. But be careful, there are rats on the other side. 
These rats can come out of nowhere really quickly and they can cause a little bit of damage. Down inside of the secret room, there's another secret room. Make sure you break it down and clear the rats that are there as well. The silver chests generally have good items. If you already have all these items and you don't need any work of them, make sure you salvage the weapons so you can get more room points to do better crafting later. Again, there's another secret passage in this other house here that we weren't been before. Make sure you go down and clear out the enemy in there and the other silver chests. You will find more areas around here that has a silver chest up top and other scrap metal sitting on top of different items. Make sure that you collect them as every little bit will count and you'll end up with a total of more than 750 an hour after doing this method. You can see now at the end, I have a stack of 50 and I have a stack of 12 and a total of 62 scrap metal all up in those two little runs I've done. Now we have the bonus method of getting scrap metal and other good items. If you're liking the video so far, make sure you hit us a like and subscribe for more content of Shrouded and other popular survival crafting games that we play. If you've already been into the spiral, you will know that there's going to be a bunch of these containers around the side. Make sure that you break them down with your pick as they will often drop really high quality items. You will find scrap metal, you'll also find metal sheets which is what scrap metals can form. The more you break down, the higher chance you're going to have of getting extra tier loot. Don't ignore these, make sure you pay attention to all the metal around. You don't have to do this method, but I do find it to be quite good when you go to a new area and that there's new content that you can find. And a special thanks to this month's Lord members for helping make this video possible. Wendy Norman, LJ, Benny Elementrix, Giovinco and Ariani. If you've liked this video guys, make sure you check out our other video of the food buffs and different types of food within Enshrouded early game. There's a lot of useful information there and you can really benefit from it. Or drop into one of our streams and catch us live and ask us any questions you have about Enshrouded. Till then guys, see you next time.